This is not mission difficult, Mr. Hunt. It's mission impossible. This retrospective, should you choose to accept it, will self-destruct in five seconds. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look back at the Mission Impossible series. This entertaining espionage series was created by Bruce Geller and aired for seven seasons between 1966 and 1973. The program focused on the missions of a team of covert American agents called the Impossible Mission Force. Starting in the show's second season, the IMF was led by director Jim Phelps, and throughout the series he and several others tackled countless evil organizations and dictators. Actor Peter Graves played the role of Phelps in the show, but his co-stars were usually fresh faces. There were several regulars as well, including Star Trek actor Leonard Nimoy. This variety in actors was made possible by the fact that specialists were chosen from a dossier before each assignment based on the requirements of that case. Aside from its iconic musical theme, the most memorable element of the series was its use of a tape recorder to deliver the mission briefs. The tape always began with a pleasant personal greeting Good morning, Mr. Phelps. and went on to explain the mission's objective. It ended by reminding Phelps that he and the agents would be renounced if they were caught or killed. Upon completion, the tapes would always self-destruct. The original Mission Impossible series was one of the most successful and longest-running English-language espionage programs ever made. Due to this achievement, its cast returned for an unsuccessful revival in 1983. Despite this failure, the series was rebooted again in 1988. In its early days, that show used several scripts from the original series due to an ongoing writer's strike. Although characters and their backgrounds were changed for this incarnation of the show, the producers soon abandoned the reboot premise and retooled the series as a continuation of the original. It even had Graves reprising his role as Phelps alongside several of his old colleagues. The new Mission Impossible spiced up the show's dated formula and showcased a much larger agency complete with other teams and outrageously futuristic technology. Due to bland ratings, this reboot only lasted two years. It wasn't until 1996 that another story in the series was made. I can understand you're very upset. Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. That year, director Brian De Palma brought it to the big screen with a blockbuster project that featured an entirely new cast and protagonist. This time, the story focused on Ethan Hunt, played by Hollywood A-lister Tom Cruise. The plot had Hunt trying to prove he was not a traitor to his organization. The film was an instant classic and earned its place in history for its new version of the iconic theme and for the heart-stopping scene where Cruz's character hacks a computer while hanging from a cord in a pressure-sensitive room. The franchise's next installment came in 2000 with John Woo at the helm. MI2 followed Hunt to Sydney as he tried to destroy a genetically modified disease. While some criticized the film for its focus on style over substance, as well as too many masked identity swaps, it raked in over $400 million worldwide. J.J. Abrams took on directing duties for MI3. Despite the series' success to that point, this part was plagued by controversy involving its star. Cruz lost credibility following a manic appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show and after he became involved in a feud with Viacom over an episode of South Park that portrayed him in an unflattering way. I'm nothing. I'm a failure in the eyes of the Prophet! Ah! Hey! Though MI3 was critically well received and did well at the box office, it performed below expectations. Regardless of this, the series returned for a fourth installment. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol hit silver screens in 2011. In this film, the entire IMF agency was disavowed by the United States following an attack on the Kremlin. As a result, Ethan Hunt leads an unsanctioned team on a quest to clear their names and to save the world from a sinister plot. Mission Impossible remains one of the most iconic and action-packed franchises in the genre, thanks to its past as a popular TV series and a long-running string of films. It will undoubtedly continue to excite audiences long after Tom Cruise stops hanging around.